And we're live at the watch parties for all nine candidates for mayor, and we'll have a reaction all night as the polls close. Right now, we're going to check in with WGN's Jackie Bang. She's live with Paul Vallis's campaign. Mike Lowe is with Willie Wilson, and Christine Flores is with Roderick Sawyer. Let's begin with Jackie Bang. Well, the venue he chose, guess what the name is? City Hall. Asked one of the volunteers, is that for obvious reasons? I got a nod of yes. <laughs> He announced in June 1st of last year, and Paul Vallis said that the biggest challenge was a crisis in leadership, and that was the first salvo against Lori Lightfoot. And he has been uh, crisscrossing through all of the wards, saying he is the best leader for the job. He's been doing this for more than eight months, and it culminates tonight. Well, we caught up with him as he was voting this morning at Healy Elementary School. And he has lived there for a little over a year. He says that his top priority will be public safety. He said his first day on the job, he was going to fire Superintendent David Brown. He was going to add more police. He was going to add more community policing. He is also very much into the education field. He was Chicago Public Schools' very first CEO. So he said all of this experience makes him the best person for the job, not the incumbent, Lori Lightfoot. The issue in this election is leadership. And every single problem that the city is facing, whether it's a degraded, demoralized police department, schools that people are fleeing in record, record number, or for that matter, successive budgets that can't seem to be passed without big property tax increases is a product of bad leadership. He has tried three times to run for public office. The first time, 2002, for governor, and he narrowly lost the Democratic vote to Rod Blagojevich. In 2014, he ran as lieutenant governor with Pat Quinn, lost to Bruce Rauner. And, of course, in 2019, he ran for mayor, and he uh, ended in a distant ninth place. Tonight, he believes this will be his night, but he also says he will not take anything for granted. Back to you. Thank you, Jackie. Willie Wilson is hosting a campaign night party at the Swiss Hotel downtown. And Mike Lowe is there. Mike? Ben and Dina, good evening to both of you. Willie Wilson spent the morning at a diner on the south side greeting voters and then in the afternoon went to the northwest side where he was at an L-stop shaking hands with potential voters. The question for his supporters here tonight at the Swiss Hotel is what role will he play? Will he be a spoiler candidate or perhaps a surprise candidate making it into the runoff? Either way, for this conservative businessman, this is just the latest in a long parade of political campaigns. The number one priority at this particular moment is, is crime. 74 year old Southside businessman Willie Wilson has become a perennial candidate. A vote for Willie Wilson. Yeah. Yeah. It's a vote for all yeah. Chicago. Yeah. All right. He ran for mayor of Chicago in 2015, writing a million dollar check to his campaign. Uh, it is time for uh, this mayor to, to go. He then ran for president of the United States in 2016. That I am running. Yes, sir. For president of the greatest country in the world. And again for mayor in 2019 as a candidate unafraid to speak his mind. I was raised in South Jim Crow days. I'm just tired of white people telling me what to do. He also ran for U.S. Senate in 2020. He has lost every race but garnered a reliable block of support. Be the next mayor of the city of Chicago, all right? Now he's back, seeking the mayor's office for a third time. Who in their right mind is going to tax somebody when they can't even buy milk and eggs at home? Running on a pro-police, pro-business platform. Who would get on TV and constantly double down on hunting people down like rabbits. Well, I don't respond to kids. <laughs> Wilson worked his way up from being a janitor at McDonald's to become the millionaire owner of several McDonald's restaurants and a medical supplies company. He has hosted the gospel music program Sing Sation, which was produced at WGN. He also uses his money to fund his own campaigns and is known to give away cash, gas, groceries, and post bail for nonviolent offenders. A blessing, and it really touched my soul that. 
people that I don't even know came out to help me. Today, he said he hopes the third time is the charm. This is his third run for the office of mayor of Chicago. He is vying for some of the same votes as Paul Vallis, those conservative votes that want to see a crackdown on crime. But as is often the case in Chicago, uh, politics is identity politics, which often splits along racial lines. And some analysts say he could take votes away from other black candidates, including the incumbent mayor, Lori Lightfoot. Reporting live this evening at the Swiss Hotel downtown. Mike Lowe, WGN News. All right, thank you, Mike. Over at Roderick Sawyer's campaign headquarters, the history, the team there is hoping to make some history tonight. WGN's Christine Flores is live in Chatham with the details. Christine? Oh, good evening. Balloons, posters, and excitement have been filling Roderick Sawyer's campaign headquarters ahead of tonight's big party. Family and friends will be stopping by to show support for the 59-year-old who hopes to follow in his father's footsteps and become the first sitting alderman to be elected mayor. Now, Sawyer has been, was born in Chicago and for the last 12 years has served as alderman for the 6th district, representing parts of the south side. He has billed himself as a regular guy who has lived in the city's north and south side and points to his track record as alderman as to why he would be a good fit for the job. Now, during his time in city council, Sawyer was a founding member of the Progressive Caucus, spearheaded a push for the city to consider reparations, and also started a subcommittee to explore the issue. Now, this also includes Includes establishing the local police district councils, which Chicagoans will also vote for while at the polls today. We caught up with Sawyer as he grabbed lunch, keeping up the tradition this afternoon at Manny's Deli, where he talked about his agenda for a day like today and how he was making the most of this sunny Tuesday. Having fun, just having, you know, talking to people, having a good time, and just. You know, the election's over. I mean, the election's being decided, so it's not, you know, all we can do is now talk to people, enjoy, and enjoy the beautiful day. It's February 28th, and it's sunny outside. It's 50 degrees. Come on. It's great. Yeah, it's a great day. And we asked Sawyer why he wanted to be mayor, and he said for him it stems from his desire to serve his community and the city that he loves. Now, fun fact, there is a DJ booth set up here in the corner, and tonight Roderick Sawyer himself will be on the ones and twos he's going to be playing. He said a little bit of house, some oldies, but goodies, and just to get the party started tonight. Reporting live in the Chatham neighborhood, Christine Flores, WGN News.